Namaste. Welcome to this introduction to mantra practice. And today I don't want to go into too much of the theory of mantra itself, but to help you to find your way into practicing the mantra OM. Um, so mantra is fantastically uh, good for helping us to express uh, both our feelings and our emotions um, and get rid of uh, blockages from the throat chakra. And mantra is an expression of energy in a sound. Um, so we are going to practice the mantra OM today. You don't need to know the theory to benefit from it. Uh, the OM is a um, foundational mantra. So it's the sound from which all other sounds come in the yoga philosophy anyway. So to do this, we're going to break the mantra into three parts. So although OM is often written O-M um, when it's written in uh, English or in the Latin alphabet, it's actually pronounced OM, A-U-M. Uh, so we practice the three sounds separately. And to begin with, we're just going to take a moment to find a comfortable seat. It doesn't matter where you're sitting. I've got a blanket because it's winter time here. It's a bit chilly in the yoga room. But you might have be sitting on a chair or kneeling. You might not need a blanket where you are today. So come to a sit, seated pose and sit as upright as you feel you can manage without gripping or holding. Just allowing your sitting bones to find their grounding. If you're on a chair, let your feet find their grounding into the floor. And then allow that gentle internal lengthening of the crown of the head upwards. Take a few moments to find your way into this space. And notice also your natural breath, your spontaneous breath. When we begin to work with mantra, our breath becomes a little bit deeper, a little bit longer, particularly in our exhalation. And this activates the relaxation response in the body. So it helps to make us feel a little calmer, a little bit more peaceful, more centered. <clears throat> so take a few more purposeful breaths, drawing your breath deeper into the body, filling the sides of the body, the chest, the back, as you inhale. And as you exhale, gently activate your tummy muscles, drawing them inwards just to gently to help the air to empty from the lungs. Breathing in long and slow and deep. Breathing out fully. Gentle little action of the tummy muscles to help empty the lungs. Breathing in deeply. Sides, back, chest. Breathing out fully, completely with that gentle engagement across the abdomen. So as we practice our mantra, um, you can keep this breath going and you can develop your, your mantra breath from this deeper, more purposeful breath. So when we practice our sound, we want the mouth to be open and the sound to be, it doesn't have to be really, really loud, but we want it to be full. Uh, so our first sound is the R ah of the OM. Um, and we're going to do this by placing the hands onto the belly or the lowest part of the, the lungs, just around the bottom of the rib cage. 
And taking a, a deep breath in and just making ah through a nice open mouth as we exhale. Doesn't matter what the tone is. Mine's often quite deep for a girl, but uh, you go with whatever your natural tunefulness is. Uh... Keep going, breathing in deeply. Uh... Two more like that. Uh, keep the mouth open as you exhale. Uh, Just take a moment to relax the hands, relax the breath. And if you heard your voice wavering, if it went, ah, or if it dropped out like mine did a couple of times, just at the end of the breath, there wasn't enough to make the um, harmonization across the vocal cords. That's all about uh, creating space in this throat chakra and getting rid of the stuff that we hold here. So energetically, we're cleansing the throat chakra. So it's natural for all of that to happen, particularly if you are new to mantra. So our next sound is the ooh or you sound, and it can be an ooh or a you. And often when we do it separately, it sounds a little bit differently from when we do it together. And for here, you can have your hands on your chest or on the sides of your rib cage, if you prefer. And this is where the sound is going to come from, just as the sound came from quite low down as we made the R. And again, this is with an open mouth. Just joining in when you're ready. Ooh. Ooh. Two more. If you are taken by a fit of the giggles, that's totally okay. At the end of your four breaths, just relaxing, relaxing the arms, relaxing the breath. Noticing any changes. If it makes you feel like a bit of a ninny, then, uh, and you have a fit of the giggles, that's quite all right, just let it out. Our last sound is the mm, or the hum of the om. And that comes from here in the, in the sort of upper throat and the head area. Um, so for this, I'm just gonna rest my hands down, but if you want to, you can rest your hands lightly across the front of your throat. You don't really want to press hard there, but you can rest them lightly here if you like to. And we keep our mouth closed, but our teeth apart. That's important, otherwise they jangle together and create a, an uncomfortable resonance in the head. Two more. Mm. 
again, just allowing your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Often after this one, it's nice to spend just a moment or two in silence. And now we can put the three sounds together, the ah, the oo, and the mm, into one long sound. So I'm going to do this a few times. You can join in whenever you're ready. I'm going to hold today chin mudra, thumb and forefinger together, other fingers long. Uh, this promotes a really deep breath um, and helps us to extend that ex exhaled soundful part of the breath just that little bit longer. I don't think soundful is a word, sorry about that. Okay. So remembering that each breath that you take in lifts you tall, creates the space for you to inhale deeply and exhale with that beautiful resonance, vibration. Closing your eyes if you feel able to do that helps us to internalize the experience. Uh... Just two more. Uh... keeping your eyes down or gently closed if you can, just observing the effect of your practice as the silence wraps itself around you and the vibration diminishes. If you've been left feeling very tranquil and very still, you may find this is the perfect gateway practice into meditation. And so if you'd like to continue to sit for a few more minutes in your silence, in your stillness, you can continue to do that. I will offer you namaste. Thank you for joining me for this practice. There's more information in the description here about the benefits of chanting. See you next time.